Hey y'all. Okay, now earlier I had posted uh, a video about the lady in Texas that was ringing the doorbell, okay? And, you know, police are still trying to figure out who it is, okay? Um, I was unaware that, however, a lady, a, 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 another woman, um, says that this lady is her sister, okay, who went missing in January, okay? Um, I actually got some pictures, um, some screenshots from this, and I did try to clear them up a little bit to see because they say that they can see, um, you know, the girl says that maybe she has tattoos and stuff like that. So I want to show you all the pictures um, in just a second. I'm going to go through the article first, and then I'll show you all some pictures, okay? Um, and I also cleared up the surveillance picture of the girl, Okay, so we can get a better, clearer picture of her rather than the grainy, you know, the very grainy one that was on the, on the doorbell surveillance. Okay, um, so let's just read some of these highlights of the article. Uh, it says, police are desperately searching for a woman who appears to be in need of help. Captured on security cameras ringing doorbells in Sunrise Ranch, Texas. The woman went door to door without pants or shoes on. At 3 a.m. Friday, she was captured on one resident's security camera and seems to have broken restraints, possibly handcuffs on her wrist. The sister of a woman who vanished in January after telling her family she was going to Midland, Texas, tells Daily Mail that her this is her sister in the video. Caitlin Dennison's sister, Rachel, says she has identified Caitlin's tattoos in the footage in the in the footage that she was just pregnant when she vanished. Okay, and that was another thing. There were a lot of uh, comments on the videos that I posted earlier saying how she looked pregnant. Okay, and so I went back and I looked, and yes, it, she does. Her She does look pregnant. Her belly looks round. Um, You know, I don't know if that's the surveillance or maybe that's how her shirt is or, you know, or maybe she just has like a little belly, but she does look like she could be pregnant okay um the lady in question her name is caitlin dennison okay this is the woman that went missing in january she's 19 years old and she was her sister said she was like a month or two pregnant in january so that means like right now she'd be about eight months pregnant which I mean, when I think eight months pregnant, I think of a belly that's about to explode, okay? That's only, you know, maybe that's just how I feel because I know when I was eight months pregnant, I looked like I was about to pop with all my kids, okay? But some people, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're small, you know, when they're pregnant. Their belly is small and, you know, and stuff like that. So that is hard to go by. You cannot go by that. Okay, um, everybody is different. So let me read this uh, article and then I'm going to go through the pictures that I have cleared up. Okay, the sister of a woman who went missing in January believes she is the half naked woman captured on a home surveillance camera frantically ringing doorbells at 3 a.m. in Sunrise Ranch. Rachel Dennison tells Daily Mail that her sister, Caitlin Dennison, 19, who went missing in January, was one or two months pregnant when she disappeared. The woman in the video appears to possibly be pregnant. Caitlin told her family she was flying from her hometown of Reno, Nevada to Midland, Texas with a man she had just met. Her family doesn't know his name, and the last thing Caitlin told her sister was, this guy makes me scared for my life. In a review of the surveillance footage released by Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, her sister says she believes she has identified Caitlin's various tattoos. Okay, so we'll go back and we'll look at the, um, oh no, yeah, here, we'll, I'll just go through the article and then we'll go back and we'll look at these pictures, okay, so we don't get sidetracked from what the article is saying. Caitlin has a tattoo on her middle finger, and although the security footage is grainy, there does appear to be one in the same location on the woman in the video. 
Additionally, Rachel tells DailyMail.com, I have come to believe that this is my sister due to a tattoo that she has of the Libra scales on her arm. In the footage, there is a faint image of what could be a tattoo on the woman's arm as she reaches for the doorbell. Rachel remains hopeful, emphatically saying, stating it is her. She also says she is in touch with the police. Caitlin could be brought home. The similarities are too much to miss. Please, I want my sister home so badly, Rachel adds. In January, Caitlin was described as being 5 feet tall and weighing 120 pounds with blue eyes and blonde hair. The chilling video captured the attention of police in Texas, showing a woman who appears to be in need of help, ringing doorbells in the middle of the night with restraints on her wrist. The woman is seen on resident Jenny Drood's security camera, who shared the video to Facebook and with police. The woman seems to be walking quietly up to the door of the home with what appears to be some sort of restraints on her wrist, with no pants or shoes on. The woman was ringing doorbells in the Sunrise Ranch area of Montgomery, Texas, around 3 a.m. on Friday, August 24th. But by the time the residents reached their doors, the woman was gone. As the woman rings the doorbell, she appears to look down the block nervously as if she fears being discovered. Okay, trying to get to the rest of the article. Here we go. I don't know. Okay, in the short clip, the woman is seen emerging from behind a bush. She seems to be trying to be quiet and she reaches for the doorbell. There appears to be what may be restraints on her wrist. Drew described the woman as appearing to be out of breath from what she could see on her home surveillance video. Another resident who did not want to be identified told Click2 Houston, We were dead asleep in our beds. My husband was woken up by the doorbell ring. It rang probably 20 to 30 times. By the time her husband answered the door, no one was there. He walked outside. No one was in sight. It's like she disappeared into thin air, the resident said. It was kind of scary because this girl looked like she was just in a shirt. She looked like she had wrist restraints on her wrist and she was barefoot. You can see her with the worry on her face looking around. She rang on at least five residents' doorbells in the area. Okay, let me touch base on this article real quick. Okay, what I don't get is, I mean, I understand she rang someone's doorbell. You know, she rang their doorbells like a lot, each maybe each house, okay? Say she rang each house 20 times, okay? And somebody goes to the door, there's nobody there. You know, I think, I feel like what, what she might have been trying to do is just literally, because she disappeared very quick. It was like she rang the doorbell to wake them up, and then she left and went on to another house. And I believe she just like, you know how like if you just keep pushing the doorbell, like it'll just ding, 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 it'll just keep, keep ringing, okay? And it seems to me like that's what she was doing, basically to signal neighbors to come out. You know, maybe wanting people to come to come out, so if there was enough people outside, maybe she would feel safer. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like if I'm running from someone and I go to somebody's house, okay, if I'm trying to hide somewhere or get help, okay, it, if one person comes out, I mean, both of y'all could, or that person could get killed and you're right back in the arms of the kidnapper, okay? If you have five people out there, your chances of survival are greater, okay? Um, you know, it's sort of like a like a safety tactic. Um, but here's some pictures. This is the lady's house that she, this is the outside of the house that she rang the doorbell, okay, where it's on the surveillance. And this is her. She's looking down the street right here. This is when she was looking down the road. Well, you know what? Here, I'm just going to click on this and we're going to go through these, go through all the pictures. We'll just click all through them. Since they're all. 
together. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so like this is her walking up. I really do believe, though, that this, I mean, it's a very high possibility that it could be this uh, girl's sister. Okay, um, she does look a lot like her sister, and I'm going to show y'all some pictures. And I did go on Facebook, and I found, you know, some other pictures of her. And what I wanted to point out is, let me show y'all this picture right here. Okay, see in this picture right here, this is actually the one, this is, uh, the I just got a screenshot of this and I cleared it up. I'll show y'all that in a minute. Okay, but see how her hair looks like it has light spots going through it. You know, so it looks like light and dark. Okay, that could be from, you know, light shining on her. It could be just how the surveillance looks. It could be a whole lot of things, okay? But I wanted to point that out because before I even saw this, you know, that she could be someone's sister, before I even had a, a you know, a person to go with, along with this person, um... You know, I noticed that, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, it looks like she has, like, lighter-looking hair. Now, the thing, the reason I wanted to point that out is because the girl that went missing, okay, Caitlin, um, she had blonde hair, okay? Her hair was, looked like, you know, naturally like a dark brown, but she wore it dyed blonde a lot, and, you know, if you if you put dark hair dye on top of blonde hair dye, it starts washing out. Like it it'll start fading away and you can see the blonde coming out of the dark. You know, like you literally see the areas that were blonde. Um and if anybody's ever dyed their hair blonde and then dyed it another color, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like you can see the lighter pieces coming through the dark hair dye. Okay, and I wanted to point that out because, like I said, she was dyeing her hair blonde, but if this is her, and if, you know, if this is the lady, you know, the, Caitlin, that is missing, and if she did get kidnapped, it's highly possible that they, you know, they made her, that they dyed her hair for her, or whatever, they made her change her hair color, okay, and I just wanted to point that out, that it is a very big possibility, all right, so... This is going to be the surveillance video again, okay, just to, okay. Trying to make it bigger. Hmm. What's up with this thing? Okay, I don't know why it keeps skipping to way over here, but that's what it does. Strange. Here she is. Okay.
I just, I just can't believe that this entire neighborhood and that nobody has cameras. I mean, somebody's got to have surveillance cameras outside their house. You know, I mean, this person, they had the, the ring doorbell, you know, that has the camera on it. But somebody's, I mean, you can't tell me that an entire neighborhood like that, somebody does not have cameras. That I don't believe that. You know, somebody's got to have something on camera and I do suggest that if somebody has it they really need to check their surveillance okay to see where she went to afterwards or see if they can see her you know coming down the street or whatever um okay now this is the tattoo that Caitlin okay um Caitlin Dennison has on her forearm all right and I did get a picture of the forearm to try to see, you know, if we can see that, okay, um, now, okay, hold on, here's a picture right here, okay, this is Caitlin Dennison, okay, that is missing, this is Caitlin Dennison that went missing in January, and before y'all go by just this one picture right here and say, oh, no, that's definitely not her, just wait, because I'm going to show y'all some more pictures, okay, um, it is it would be very hard to tell whether you know by just by looking at this picture and the surveillance okay one has makeup one doesn't one's grainy one's not um now right here it shows the tattoo that she has on her middle finger okay caitlin and and i just showed y'all the tattoo that she has on her forearm okay um let me get back down here Cause this picture right here shows okay see they've highlighted I mean they circled right here and magnified you know her finger okay this person's finger and they do see that there is something on you can see something on her middle finger okay but it is very hard to tell what it is um, even when I tried to clear it up and I put it through the through my software it still did not come out right okay it was very it was literally just a blur like it was real hard to see alright but I did want to show y'all one more thing and then I'm gonna go to the next to the picture Let me go to this then. Okay. Okay, give me one second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to get this thing to to act right. Okay, I was trying to find the picture where they have her arm circled. So I, just so I can show y'all right here. Okay, see, they say that... Okay, her sister said that she has the Libra Scales tattoo on her left forearm. Okay, and then the... The other tattoo is on her ring finger right here, on her right ring, I mean, I'm sorry, not my ring finger, middle finger. Her right middle finger, okay, and her left forearm. So, I, you know, I blew these up and I got screenshots. Like I said, the, pic, the finger one did not come out that great 
or the forearm one did not come out good at all. All right. But, however, you can see that something is there. You can see something is there. So I want to go ahead and show those to y'all. Okay, now this is the screenshot that I had originally taken of her at the surveillance. Okay. I mean, I'm on the surveillance. Okay, so you know what? Let me just see if I can zoom into this. Blow this. Sorry, y'all. I'm just waiting on this to um load. I don't know why it's taking so long. This is crazy. It's weird because when I'm not doing a video, it does none of this. Okay, now this is after I, you know, cleared it up a little bit. Okay. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the lady at the doorbell. All right, it's not as grainy or as blurry. We can start to see a little more features. Okay. And see what I'm talking about with the hair? And the restraints. Okay, you see... This, I mean, there's no getting around that. She definitely has restraints. You can even see a piece right here that looks like it's hanging down that broke off of here. You know, when she broke them. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Let me go to this because I want to show you the arm. This was just the screenshot that I had taken of the arm. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all that. This is screenshot. You can even see where the red circle was. Tried not to get that in there because it does mess the picture up. Um, like I said, I, I do not see um, an exact Libra scale, but I do see like something in the middle right here you see the three you see some three of something on her arm okay and y'all know what i'm talking about the scale has the little pole going up and it's got the, the scales on each side and it, one had a sun and one had a moon okay looks like something right here boom boom okay you follow me show y'all what I'm talking about just for the ones that can't see it okay looks like something right here right here on this side and then something else over here okay terrible diagram terrible drawing I'm sorry about that, but I'm just basically showing y'all where I see something at. One, two, three. You see three, like three lines right there, okay? Like three, you know, of something on her arm. Oh, let me get this off. Okay. Yeah, see, and it didn't get any better. It just sort of... You can still see something on her arm though something is there I just don't know exactly what it is 
but it definitely looks like, um, to me, it does definitely look like Caitlyn Dennison. Okay. Now I do want to show y'all the screenshot I got of the finger just to show y'all it did not come out at all. Pictured it was very small. Okay. Um, but you do see something, something is on her finger. It's definitely there. Just don't know what it is. Okay. Alright, so let me go back to this. Close these out. Okay. Now this is Caitlin Dennison. Okay, this is the lady. Um, these are other pictures of the girl that is missing. Okay, Caitlin Dennison. Like I said, she mainly wears her hair um dyed blonde. You know, no whether or or she wears it blonde, whether it's dyed or highlighted or heck it could be her natural hair color okay it don't matter like I said when you put that dark hair color over the blonde it starts to shine through after so many washes after so many exposures to the Sun or anything of that nature or just period you can see it through the dark hair color and the reason I pointed that out to y'all is because her hair as you can see is long um, a lot of the pictures that we see, you know, of her, her hair is shorter, you know, it, you know, maybe shoulder length or something of that nature, but it's not as long as it is in the surveillance. Now, if she's been missing for the last seven, you know, seven, almost eight months, okay, her hair has grown a lot. If she's pregnant, that causes your hair to grow. Um, and it, like I said, if she dyes her hair blonde, it's going to be blonde more towards the ends because it has grown. That would cause the lightning at the end of the hair like I showed y'all. Okay. So I want y'all to get a good look at her face. Okay. Get a good look at her face. Just go back to this. What do y'all think? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think there's a lot of similarities. Um, I do, you know, I mean, of course, I mean, it's a high possibility that it is her. Okay. Um, like I did say earlier, you know, I mean, it's it's obvious that something is going on. Why would she be ringing multiple door doors at 3 a.m. Uh, in this neighborhood, you know, and then outside with just a shirt and restraints on her, you know, and no shoes, no pants, nothing. Okay. That is, it's very well, obviously, you know, she's trying to get help. Okay. Um, didn't mean to go down that far. Sorry about that. Okay, but let's see. This is Caitlyn. This is Caitlyn. This, this, this. Right here is her also with short hair. Um, this is her. And like I said, you know, you can see she's small. She's a petite girl. So with her being pregnant and, I mean, I hate to say this, but, you know, sometimes when people get kidnapped, they're not fed properly or just stress, you know, and things that they endure could cause them, um, you know, to not nourish themselves properly or, you know, gain weight properly, okay, especially if they're pregnant. Um, you know, I hope and pray to God that they find out, you know, whether this is her or not or who it is and what happened, and I hope that they, you know, quickly get this woman, um, you know, and find out what's going on. And if she is Caitlin or any other missing woman or any other female in danger, I hope and pray to God that they rescue her and get her home safely. Love you.
Um, okay, now I found a Facebook for her, okay? And I want to show y'all a couple of other pictures just in case um because we never know who's who's watching this video or who is aware of what's going on okay and i don't know where anybody lives so for all i know somebody could be in the area just take a look you know because it doesn't matter you don't have to be in the area if you know what she looks like you can be on the lookout for her if they know that she's being sought after they're going to they could possibly try to hide her even more Okay, so, let's see, this is the most recent Facebook, so I'll show y'all this first. It's Caitlin Dennison, Trap Baby C. Okay, and I just want to show y'all some different pictures, so y'all can be aware of, you know, of her, what she looks like and everything. I don't know, I mean, I just, some, I just really feel like it could very well possibly be her. Okay, here, I'm going to go to this uh, older Facebook, um, and this one is actually, I don't know, this one's like a few years old or something, when she was in high school, but it's not, let's see, yeah, they're not like real recent pictures or anything, but you can get a vision of her a little better, you know, without the makeup, Okay. I mean, she has makeup on right here, but it is a little bit more subtle. Or maybe that's not the same Caitlyn. I'm not sure. Um... You know, I'm, I'm not sure, okay, whether that is the same Caitlyn, but I know that this one definitely is. Um, this is a little harder for me to tell just because, you know, of the makeup. Um, but this one right here is definitely her because I did see pictures that her sister had provided. Okay, so um, this one is definitely uh, her Facebook. Okay, it does show that the last time maybe something was on there was November 24th. But, you know, she could have her profile as private, which it does look like that because I don't see any posts. Okay, but they said that she did go missing in January. Um, so, yeah. So, oh, and I do want to show y'all something real quick. Okay, it said that she was headed to Midland, Texas. Um... You know, that's what she said, told her sister. She was going to Midland, Texas with this guy. Now, she was ringing the doorbells in Montgomery, Texas. Okay, so I wanted, I was curious about the distance between the two. Um, just for informational purposes, it it is a seven-hour drive, okay, from Midland to, to Montgomery. Okay, I just wanted to throw that in there just in case anybody else was wondering. Um... But it wouldn't matter really if it was 12 or 14 hours or or across the country. It doesn't matter because someone who kidnaps or traffics girls or anything of that nature, they're willing to do and go wherever that they need to do or go, you know, to not get caught. Okay, so I just wanted to touch base on this uh, once more. To show y'all the pictures and, you know, see where where y'all's minds are on this. Um, do y'all think that this is Caitlyn Dennison? I feel like it, you know, it very well could be. Um, 
you know, in, in our reality, I mean, I hope that this is her. Like, I, I hope that this is her and I hope that they find her, you know, so her family can, can get back right. You know, she needs to be home and, and at least if they know that this is Caitlyn, then it's not like Caitlyn's missing. Oh, and then they were searching another missing person. You understand? Like it just kind of all, you know, brings one case together, closes that out and, you know, I just want her to be home, brought home safely. That's all I, that's all I would love to see happen is that this young woman right here is brought home safely to her family who is missing out on her. So leave your comments and feedback below. If y'all would like to send me anything, you can feel free to do so in my email or you can add me on Facebook and send whatever you like through Messenger. If y'all have not subscribed to my other channel, please do so now. Click on the link down below, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Um... I think that's it. Yeah, if, yeah, anyways, till the next time I talk to y'all, I love y'all, and y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you.